All right. So, ladies and gentlemen, um, if they give us one angle, all right, and they say sine of theta, evaluating sine of theta for your angle, whatever theta is, you get three fourths. What we want to do is we want to say, well, can we determine what our other trigonometric functions? Can we evaluate for the other six, six trigonometric functions, or actually five remaining? So what they said was to use a right triangle. Now, there's a couple things you guys need to remember about a right triangle. Remember, when you have a right triangle, let's say it's called this theta. Here's our right angle. We have here is your hypotenuse. Your opposite side of your theta is what we call our opposite side. And the side that joins your 90 degree angle and your angle is what we call adjacent. All right? So that is your, that is your right triangle with your uh, hypotenuse, opposite, and adjacent. Now, remembering what we talked about a couple class periods ago, sine of theta represents your opposite over your hypotenuse, correct? So therefore, what I'm going to do is I'm going to plug in these values into my triangle. So my opposite, I know is 3, and my hypotenuse is 4. So I do not know what my adjacent side is. All right, and if you guys think about that, if I want to find out what is cosine, well, cosine of theta is going to be adjacent over four, because four is my hypotenuse. So I need to figure out what adjacent is going to be. Well, we can go back to our lovely geometry days, and remember, to do that, we can use Pythagorean theorem. Mm -hmm. Say four squared plus, I'm just going to call it adjacent, a squared, I'm sorry, four squared equals a squared plus three squared. Right? So two legs, two legs squared equals your hypotenuse squared. So it's 4 squared is 16 equals a squared plus 9. Subtract 9. 7 equals a squared. Square root a equals positive square root of 7. So therefore, I can now say that the cosine, my adjacent, is square root of 7. So that's going to be cosine. Then, um, kind of ring our room for tangent. Now let's do. Let's just do the inverse. Uh, I guess it doesn't matter. Now let's do the inverse, or the, I'm sorry, not the inverse. The reciprocal of these two functions. Remember, the reciprocal of sine is cosecant. So that's going to be um, reciprocal of this over one over sine. Remember, the cosecant is reciprocal of one over sine. All right, now I just want to show you guys why. A lot of you might say, oh, well, you just flip it. Well, why do we just flip it? Well, it's 1 over 3 fourths. To get that out the bottom, you multiply by the reciprocal. And like I said, you don't have to show this word all the time. I just want to make sure you guys see where I'm getting it. Well, okay. that cancels to 1. And 1 times 4 thirds is left with 4 thirds. So yes, farther down the road, if you want to say, oh, here's the sign. What's the cosecant? You just flip it, right? You can see that's why it's just a very easy flip. So therefore, the cos or the secant, which is the reciprocal of cosine, is going to be the reciprocal of this. <coughs> Four times radical seven. However, we can't have leave a radical on the bottom, so you have to rationalize the denominator. No. Four times radical seven equals over seven. Is your secant. Then let's just do tangent. <clears throat> tangent is going to be um, opposite over um, opposite over adjacent. So we'll have three over radical seven. Again, we have to rationalize the denominator. So you multiply by radical seven on both sides. So three radical seven over seven. And then the cotangent is just going to be a reciprocal of that. Sorry, that's the cotangent. These are all tangent of theta. Make sure, put, make sure we're, what we're evaluating for, that angle. So that's going to be radical 7 over 3. So therefore, I have now evaluated for my six trig functions. Anybody have any questions on that? So whenever you're given it, and it says, you know, just use the right triangle, take whatever you're given, fill in the sides, and then use Pythagorean theorem to find your missing side. And then all it is is just knowing what your sine, cosine, and tangent represent, and then the reciprocals, what they represent, okay?
right? right? You guys remember what sine, cosine, tangent? 